Ha-ha, John Spooner, have you found us a nice warm island for our friends? And Percy, to visit? Ha, oh, there's a nice iceberg with a pirate ship stuck to it. Oh, no, John Spooner, then we've been traveling in circles. All I do is turn the wheel. I don't know where I'm going. Ahoy! There's me pirate ship! I'd like to get off here, please. Ah, I'd rather stay in the submarine. It's a lot warmer. I don't like the pirate ship. I don't like the captain. Uh, I, I, I don't like that skeleton guy. He, he creeps me out. And if I had feelings, I might really be hurt by that comment. M maybe. Well, then consider yourself lucky, Skelly. Sensitive pirates like me are always in emotional pain. What is an eel's favorite game? Glow fish. What is richer, a bull or a cow? A bull. The cow gives you milk. The bull charges you. Oh, John Spooner, let's find us a nice island for our guests to visit. No, I got, wow, ooh, this thing is sharp. No, there's no rush. I'm in no rush. This is a wonderful place right here. There's no rush, never no rush, no hurry, nada. No, I'm happy. No, this is good. This is, don't, this is sharp. Watch out for this. I could stay down here forever. Yar! How can you say such mutinous things? Don't you want to breathe the fresh sea air from the deck of the SS Percy? Mm, not me. I don't have a nose. No, I like the air on the submarine. I like the captain here better than the one on the pirate ship. Aye. Hmm, now that you mention it, I do too. Ho <laughs> ho, it's so nice to be loved. Why don't you ever say nice things about me, John Spooner? Because my mother told me never to lie. When you call a dog, he usually comes to you. When you call a cat, he takes a message. The bald eagle is our national bird named after its white head. It catches fish with its sharp talons and eats them after they're dead. Eagles have in common several wonderful things. 
All have keen eyes, strong, hooked beaks, sharp talons, and powerful wings. Gold eagles hunt over open space. They dive from great heights to chase hares, rodents, grouse, and small deer all over the place. How does a beaver know which tree to cut down? Whichever one he chooses. Yarg! I can't breathe in here! Methinks someone needs to take a shower! Even my bones feel cramped. I don't even think I can straighten my legs anymore. I wonder if there's any cheese on this tin can. Or some pie. Hey, there's a fly in here. Ew, send him away. Flies are creepy. Hey, he's trapped in here just like we are. I wish we had a screen door. I'd love some fresh air right about now. Or some cold seawater. <laughs> Yar, are you daft? A screen door on a submarine? That doesn't work very well. Maybe we'll see some sunken treasure while we're down here. Or maybe a load of booty. Mm, I don't wear booties. Arr, arr. Say, you know, we'll need some kind of reward for being cooped up like this. Arr, I mean, are we pirates or what? Arr, arr, arr. Arg. Yar, keep your booties on all of ye. We'll be getting back to the ship one of these days, and you'll be needing them. Ho oh, ho, Percy. I shall be glad to give you a tour of the torpedo tubes any time you should like to leave. My cat is so smart. He eats cheese, and then he waits at the mouse hole with bated breath. If baby pigs are called piglets, why aren't baby bulls called bullets? Or baby chickens called chicklets? I like eagles because they're beautiful, majestic birds. You know, I like eagles because they eat rats. I like eagles because they bark at cats. They bark at cats? I bark at cats. Beagle, oh you mean beagles, not eagles. I'll take, a, I'll take some cream cheese with my beagle. <laughs> Are we still rolling? Is there Bombardier, a bombardier, life can be so unclear. The answers come and questions change. Pirates on the seas and home on the range. The seasons change and life transcends. Some have beginnings, some see ends. But through it all, the pieces fit. The ball ends in the catcher's mitt. A voice is heard in the heart of man. Just trust me, there is a divine plan. John Spooner, full steam ahead! I didn't know this submarine ran on steam. Yar, that it's no wonder that it feels like a steam bath in here. I feel like a bunch of stew bones. Ha <laughs> ha, the torpedo tubes will cool you right off. Well, you know, speaking of stew, that does sort of make me hungry. You know, I could go for a sandwich right about now. No, I really could, really could. How about a submarine sandwich? <laughs> and some salt water taffy for dessert. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I think I might show everyone the torpedo tubes. Once upon a time, there was a man named Finn who wanted to catch the biggest fish that ever lived. I live to catch big fish, he said. So he went far and wide asking where the big fish was. Some people said, get out of my yard. Other people said, get off of my lawn. But some people said, go climb a rock. So that's what he did. On the other side of the rock, was the city of Liverwurst, where the houses all looked like sausages. He stopped at a gas station and bought a map that said, Map to the Big Fish. The fish was in a pond on top of a big mountain. On the way, he bought some cheese because the Liverwurst people told him that the big fish had a weakness for cheese. So, he continued on his way and ended up in the Flim Flam Forest. Maybe the fish lives in a tree, he thought. Suddenly, a wizard appeared. Silly man, fish don't live in trees, the wizard said. Now, get out of my forest. But which way is out, said Finn. You must pass through the ring of fire, the wizard said. But I'd rather pass through a donut hole, said Finn. Me too, said the wizard, but I'm trying to watch my weight. So the two passed through a big ring of fire. Finn was sorry he had worn such warm clothes. Think cool thoughts, said the wizard. So Finn thought about how cool he was in school and how all the girls liked him. After they passed through the fire, the wizard said, the fish is in that big pond. Well, why didn't you just tell me that before, said Finn. Well, because I like messing with people's heads, said the wizard. I'm not so sure I like wizards, Finn thought. I heard that, the wizard said. Finn walked on and came to a big pond where he heard laughter. He looked into the water and saw a big fish. That must be the biggest fish in the world. Finn thought that was the biggest fish, so he put on a big piece of cheese onto a hook and dropped a line into the water. All of a sudden, something hit Finn in the head. It was the cheese. Next time, make it cheddar, came a voice from the pond. So Finn left the pond in search of some cheddar cheese and was never heard from again. All this being underwater makes me hungry. Ah, yes, me too. Me seven. Seven? Isn't that what comes after two? No, I think ten comes after two. Yarg, Skelly, you bonehead. Learn how to count. Everyone knows five comes after two. Oh, these pirates are so stupid. Well, what does come after two? All this counting is making me hungry. Yeah, let's eat some. What's in the fridge? Uh, I found some bologna uh, and some chocolate sauce, too, right there in the fridge. Bologna and chocolate sauce? My favorite. Let's eat. Oh, no. They're eating all of my gourmet food. Ah, the food. I feel like dancing. Ah, me, uh, too. Me, seven. Oh no, not that again. Oh, 
Mandu. Now they're dancing in my living room. Can I dance too? I like to dance. Oh, no, 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 John Spooner. You have to drive these pirates back to their pirate sheep. Let's have a party. How are you the bounce house? <laughs> Arr, listen up, mateys. I'll be providing the music. Huh? Arr, 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 arr. Hey, look at me, I'm dancing. Arr, I'm running with scissors. Arr. Yeah, absolutely. I, 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 I'm going to eat all the food in the fridge. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> all the food in the fridge is mine. Oh, John Spooner, I have had enough of this. To the torpedo tubes with all of them. I've heard of shooting the curl, but this is ridiculous. Oh, whoa, mercy. Whoa, this feels a lot better than I thought it would. I think I got water in my ears. to the bone. Yarr, at least I won't have to wash my purple pants this month. <laughs> it's fun being a torpedo. <laughs> a swordfish. That sure looks like fun. Can I be shot out of a torpedo tube? Oh no, John Spooner. I'll need you to stay and drive this submarine. Ah, uh, you never let me have any fun. Dr. Draw here, communicating incommunicado. Actually, I look like a telephone, don't I? Uh, telephones don't really look like this, do you? But I'm here to give you some exciting news, exciting news! DrDraw.com is up and running. That's right, DrDraw.com. Did I say DrDraw.com is up and running? DrDraw.com, yeah! <laughs> it's very appealing. Yeah! <laughs> I can get down and do it like this, but it's okay. I don't have to, okay. Me seven! <laughs> yeah, but you act fine. No, I'm okay. four! Nine! How do we get nine? Nine. All, all this counting makes me hungry. I am hungry right now, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Easy to do because, really, you are. What, what, what's the line again? Okay. 
honey and chocolate sauce, my favorite. Let's <laughs> eat. Step four. John, you feel like that. <laughs> me seven. Look at me, I'm dancing. <laughs> hey.